touching time for me. I am just, my heart is filled with happiness that we are all gathered here and that we're doing what we're doing. And my story is very brief. I, I was born and raised on a farm in Iowa. We had parameters, we had love, we had things that we don't see. Mr. Grayson and I don't see as much of with our women, our guests, at Claire Guest House in Sioux City. And uh, by no fault of our own, that's the way we were born. Um, at the tender age of 17, I decided to become a Franciscan. And people said, you can't join that German order. <laughs> I, um, but I thought, well, my older sisters, Dot and Miriam, are none the worse for having done that. So <laughs> here I am. Um, and shortly after, um, we had this wonderful Papa John, uh, John the 23rd, who came along with that but too. And at the same time, our um, brothers in uh, Medellin had the conference where we had the, the uh, liberation theology, um, preferential option for the poor. All of this just was just part of the wonderfulness of the being of Francis. And um, then my brother, would send back letters from his mission field. He was sent down to Guatemala to fight communism and, of course, to baptize. And he found out that that really wasn't the truth at all. So later on, when I left teaching, I, I um, worked with the Catholic Peace Ministry in Des Moines. And one year, we worked, we worked a lot with uh, helping people who were trying to survive on the underground, overground. So. Um, as people would come up, we would do what we could and take them to Omaha for uh, uh, for legalization. And one year, a lady came to me, America Sosa, which wasn't her real name, and she said, I'd like to have you go as a delegate to El Salvador to um, just because of what you're doing here in Des Moines. Well, we get to El Salvador, we have this wonderful conference, and all these women are carrying um, pictures of their loved ones around their neck. And they can do that within the conference, but not outside on the street or whatever. And at that same time, we had the great opportunity of meeting Sister Pat and Sister Kay, who uh, took us around. And we actually got to meet um, Ignacio Alakira, the president of the UNCA, of the president of the, the El Salvadorian Uni University. So all of those things were just part of my Franciscan evolution. And I am so, so, so grateful for all of this. Um, and also, even a timid little me to do civil disobedience. And so I, my heart goes out to the wonderful people today that are going to do that. They're going to stand up to the gods of metal and uh, say, no, we're going to turn those weapons into plowshares. So all of us today can join with them and uh, I'm just so grateful and I thank you very much. Yeah.